Welcome to another episode of Premium Solutions Exterior. Today we're going to do a roof repair. Apparently there is leaking here in the middle of the valley. As you can see how the water is staying there. Um, just gonna take a quick look here. You can see the nail, how it looks rusty. That nail is almost puppy mat. The nails is really close to the seam, which is not good. That one, that nail, actually there is water on that nail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to remove, this is what we call California Valley. We're going to remove this shingle first of this side. So in that way, we can remove this shingle all the way down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to remove shingles. I'm gonna say that size all the way up. Then we're going to inspect the plywood and do and install the new shingle, right? See you in a little bit. this is what I've done so far and I just would like to point it out one thing and it's this one now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with this one so the shingle on this side must be running a minimum 12 inches from the very middle of this two roof which is the valley which is it's good on this side there is a minimum of uh, I believe 10 inches let me 10 inches it's good it's not bad but on this one in the very middle of the roof this is not good and as you can see there is a minimum of four inches now you look closely on this nail there is water so every time it's every time it's raining the water will be going inside that nail this one also that one see this little hole now what i'm gonna do is going to remove shingles on that area all the way down and we are going to inspect the plywood i bet that the Leakage is here, right? See you in a little bit. We already removed the shingles. As you can see, this is the valley all the way up down there. We have removed shingles here and this area. If you guys notice the wet spot, which is right there, and it was running all the way down. that this one and that one you can clearly see the way a nail here right there and also on this one 
see that? So this one, it was causing damage down there. But the main leaking is there. And the water sinks. Plywood looks good on this side. It's dry. There were a minor, minor spot of water here. But basically this is it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clear all of the nails. Have to remove everything, clean it, and then we're gonna put the new shingles back, new one. Uh, and the color of the shingle is this one. Now you may see two colors, but the original color is this one, which is black. Uh, the main reason that this shingle looks like that is because it's fading due to the age or you know exposed uh, for many 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 years but this is the main color so we're going to install a black color and my gonna looks a little bit different but again this is the original color and we're gonna go with the original color this is another example another example this is the original color and the fade color same shingle see that all right time to go back to work see you in a little bit This is how it looks now uh, with the uh, remember the actual leaking it was right there in the very middle so to fix that we had to remove shingles on both sides of this side of the roof and also that side as you can see here and in order to do that I have to remove I'm gonna say six feet of ridge cap all the way up here so this is how it looks now with new same california valley you know some rich cap black as it was before and This is Rafael with Premium Solutions Exterior 425-599-4850. Feel free to call me or even text me anytime. Thank you so much. Bye bye.